Okay, everybody, this is hashtag detail in the shadow. Um, I, uh, I have a bachelor's degree in fine arts from The Ohio State. Uh, my emphasis was fine arts photography, and I want to talk to you right now about film photography. There is a resurgence in film photography, and I'm urging everyone to join in. Um, you know, if you want to make art, you know, art for art photography, if you want to make things that speak to photography, if you want to make things that have been around and just can't be beat by digital, I love digital. This is not anti-digital, but this is more uh, speaking to the artist photographer or the aspiring artist photographer. Um, with the detail and the dynamic range in film stocks, it's just, it's just really hard to beat. Uh, unfortunately, the digital guys, they always want to emphasize um, heavy on the megapixels, but not too much on the dynamic range. Like you have to really spend above 10 grand to get a camera that has more than about 12 stops of dynamic range. Um, uh, one good thing that camera uh, companies are still producing film, uh, Fuji film, uh, Kodak. Kodak's one of the all-time favorites. They're still producing black and white film, C41 film. And I just saw news that um, Ektachrome is coming back. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, you have uh, different film speeds for what you need. Um, they even have uh, 1600 ISO Fuji color uh, all the way down to 50 ISO. Um, they have um, cinema-based film. If you want to get that cine look, that has real good detail, saturation, and dynamic range. Um, let's see, uh, different film cameras. There's there's just a multitude of them, so you can um, you you'll never run out. Everything from a small uh, 35 millimeter to a six by six, 645 medium format. Um, you can have a 4x5 large format, a 8x10 large format if you're so daring. Um, um, there are a multitude of film scanners, so you can digitize them because I said I'm not anti-digital. Um, but uh, just to have the analog front end really gives it a beautiful appeal. Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, the access to cameras is, is, you know, with the internet, you have eBay, uh, you can find just, um, once again, a multitude, uh, you know, point and shoot films for fun. Uh, you know, you want to do street photography, you want to be discreet. Um, a lot of the uh, range finders, um, you know, you can set um, uh, zone focus, shoot from the hip, um, you know, and it's just a joy in shooting film. Um, you know, and the skills that you learn from it can really translate into your your digital photography. Uh, it can translate into your videography. It translates into storytelling. You know, um, we're we're fine artists here. We want to use fine art uh, processes. Um, you know, with film, you could uh, then you can move up to more advanced techniques such as glass negatives. Uh, you know, wet plate collodion. You can use paper negatives if you want to. You can also use uh, uh, things invented by the scientist Anna Atkins, um, uh, cyanotypes that uh, don't even require uh, film at all, just uh, emulsion, paper, and the sun. Um, um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build a community. So everyone, if you could like this video, subscribe, check back in because uh, basically 2017, that's what I'm going to be doing. Lots of film, lots of street photography, lots of um, landscapes, lots of portraiture um, uh, and lots of experimenting as well because I like to constantly experiment. I never want to think that I'm at the pinnacle of my um my skill in art and um you know make work put it in shows put yourself out there and uh basically like i said want to commute create a community so please like and subscribe um tell a friend about this tell a friend about film tell a friend that it's uh easy to get in film getting to film um uh lots of more videos to come thank you